It was definitely Project of Love. We, we love challenges and we love to overcome challenges. Uh, so uh, we really enjoyed the experience and what I usually say is when you have some intensive experience with someone or in the team, it will make you closer to each other and I believe this was the case. With LEGO Technic there is a special challenge that for, we cannot use a glue for it, so the, all the bricks are connected just with the clutch power the LEGO Technic elements normally have. So this is uh, really challenging you know, to accomplish it, especially when it has to drive. So it, uh, there is a lot of uh, aerodynamics and uh, other loads we need to consider. So it is a really complicated task, maybe it doesn't look as it, from, uh, but it is really complex. I would say we can improve our seats because our seats are also made from Lego bricks so you don't have the com comfy sitting experience like uh, when you are in a normal car but uh, this is part of the deal. When you see the little um, scale model and then you also see the big one uh, and especially in a location like Silverstone um, is absolutely mind-blowing. What we um, told them and uh, what, what we wanted to, to capture is the overall feeling of a P1. So that means the overall dimensions of, of the car. Yeah? So with the sunken in cabin, with the higher fenders, with this really low and open rear deck uh, is, is very uh, good to see, like the openness of the, of the rear end. Uh, and this is what they captured and, and uh, it was also very nice to see that both uh, um, teams work really as a unit. So um, it was like ping pong back and forth, um, but uh, both teams were striving for perfection. 